using YouTube as a platform to grow your brand is something that I have, well, recently kind of gone into, and it's this past year or so, because um, before that I did not even think about doing this, but this is how I did it, and I'm going to take you through the process of, like, like the thought process and what I, t what actions I took to actually achieve this. So let's get into it. Hi there, my name is Henry Sierra and I'm building a brand called Adapting Creativity. The idea behind this brand is that we as creators change little things here and there within each project over a long period of time that way we can sustain innovation. You don't need to have to stick to the same content for three years, or exactly the same content at least. You can have little changes here and there that will make your content change a lot over time. So I think in order to develop a brand, you have to understand where a brand comes from. Think about a brand as like a story, originating from a place of meaning that is going to give value to other people, or yourself. So what is this new thing? Well, I wanted it to be about something that was bigger than just me. So I started by asking myself, what are the things that I love most? What are the things that I love doing? What are the things that I love being around? Really important things though are that it has a story and it has meaning. Because with those two things, you can also have direction. And if a brand has no direction, it's not going to grow or have any place to be. In New York what? City, I would find a gigantic space. A space that I could turn into a, a factory or a gigantic studio. I have a studio, but this is my office. This is my space. This is not... That is how this brand is created. And I showed you guys this video in one of my past ones. And I kind of use it a lot because it's how I started this thing. And it can help us learn a lot. Or at least it's helping me learn along the way. The intro I made for it. I made that intro in 20 minutes. And it's because I was hauling ass because I was trying to get the video up on time. But I was also like, how can I do something different? Because I've been uploading the same kind of vlogs for a while now. So that sequence is what became the Adaptive Creativity intro. I just made the part where it, it shows the light last longer and then it fades into the actual brand. But um, this is the adaptation of this brand and how you can develop it over time. You don't have to have a straightforward idea right off the bat because even that fading into the Adaptive Creativity thing, that took a couple of videos for me to think of. Um, at first it was just the flash of light. The result of this brand and how I developed it so far and what it looks like right now that is a year's, well, almost a year's work. It's like 10 months of work that I've put into this brand and building it to how it can seem to be to you guys now. Does that make any sense? The first video was completely different from this one, but in between each of those videos, it was small changes. One of the biggest things that I wanted to present to you guys with this brand and if it got the attention that I wanted it to get one day, uh, it will show the growth factor and that's part of the brand adapting creativity like it just all fits But why does it all fit like what is a silver lining? This is my story um, This is the brand that I created from my situation my thought process my own creativity the words adapting creativity weren't ever even in my mind before and now it's how I live every day of my life So I want to know from you guys. What is your gut telling you to do? What kind of thing do you care about? Do you care about filmmaking? Do you care about clothing? Basketball? Painting? Swimming? Can I go? So what this is here is a water slide with a 15 foot- OH GOD! What is it? Uh, pursue that and use this as an outlet for your brand and build your brand and develop your brand. Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to interact with you guys and find out what you guys are passionate about. So if you guys want to start a YouTube channel, I think that one of the wisest ways to start a YouTube channel is also to grow a brand with that YouTube channel. I love filmmaking and the bottom line of this channel is to pursue my passion for filmmaking, but I'm not leaving myself with just a YouTube channel to make money off of. I'm building a brand along with it, so I could sell clothing, I could sell, I could sell like teaching courses, I could do consulting, I can travel and do events and things like that, all off of adapting creativity and the name Henry Sierra that I'm building this channel with. But it wouldn't be as fluent or as, um, I guess, scale if I didn't have adapting creativity because it would just be Henry Sierra. It wouldn't be Henry Sierra and the movement of adapting creativity. I think the title of this video is going to be something about developing a brand with YouTube and that is how you do that. You start at one point that looks like, what the hell is this? but you keep going and feeding into that same kind of concept and idea and it grows into something eventually that is more meaningful. So I mean, I guess I can close this video off with saying what is it exactly that you do once you find what you care about? If it's swimming, think about it. Well, the first thing that I would say is, I mean, you got a GoPro and if you don't, then how can you invest in one? Can you do that? If that is an option for you, definitely do that and start, your, start making your videos. It's really as simple as that and even using something like your phone that you could probably edit off of on a maybe free mobile software. And yes, this might seem very limiting to when you were going to start this channel, 
but you do that over and over and over again and 100 videos later you have established the beginning steps of your brand. You have this vault of videos that you have been learning with and developing this with and now you can continue to build this brand the way that you want it to look. Alright you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and if you did, please remember to hit subscribe and uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. I would love to interact with you guys. Other than that, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.